Um, as I mentioned before, uh, when we spoke about a downbeat position and we analyze the physical uh, abilities of our arm and what would be the best way to find or what would be the best position for the arm um, um, as a downbeat position. Um, we uh, um, spoke about that um, arm has a certain freedom um, in um, going forward, but also in a certain freedom going from right to left um, because of the uh, shoulder joint. Um, <clears throat> and we will use this, we have to use this, this uh, um, physical um, benefit from our from structure of our body. Uh, but uh, before we go there, <clears throat> I would like to show a couple of more exercises for uh, development, development of the different parts of the arm. Uh, we spoke about a circled or rounded motion with the wrist, forearm and wrist, and then the whole arm. But there are also a very valuable approach, very valuable technique when wrist is making a short spring-like motion um, at every beat. And it's particularly valuable for fast tempos, for uh, scherzos, allegros, prestos, <clears throat> and so on. Um, but there are um, different, several, several approaches uh, we might consider. Uh, first approach is um, <clears throat> Indicating it's it's similar to the strike as a traditional conventional strike, which is downward upward, but it's it's very fast, uh, and it's um, sort of like a striking against something. Um, <clears throat> if we apply it again towards a provisional uh, line of conducting, so then we will make it in a certain in a certain point, but important. Uh, thing is that after this application, wrist uh, jumps back or, or uh, is jerked back to the to the previous position. So it's like um, throw the needles against the wall. So that that type of motion. Uh, we can <coughs> start practicing with wrist only first. and then add forearm to this motion so that will be and then the whole arm and as you notice that again the focus of the motion is here at the end of the fingers so it doesn't matter if it's wrist wrist and forearm or whole arm and wrist it is focused here then after uh, progress, uh, certain progress made in, in this exercise, we can apply um, those short strikes, uh, spring-like strikes, against a different points on the surface of conducting. For, exa for example, we can start at one, and then make two, three, four, and then go back one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll come back. It doesn't matter how many times you can apply, it could be six, seven, eight. What is important that uh, we combine this motion with this motion. So, and again, the rhythmical pattern is very crucial. Again, it could be 8, could be 10, could be 6, but what is important is that it, uh, this, those motions made in a certain pace. Uh, if we um, take a simple scheme, let's say it's a 3, 4, so it would be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, Two, three, and 
And as you may notice that for 1 and 2 and 3 steel, ARM preserved a linear uh, formation and uh, compare this. I'm instantly losing the focus, the zone, and the point of communication with the orchestra because there are so many points involved and uh, each beat performed differently. Uh, let's make it in a 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. Um, or one, two, three, four. See, each beat performed differently. Uh, now, the next approach is very similar, but there is a slight difference. The difference is that instead of spring-like motion, uh, what Reese does, Reese goes down in a very relaxed mode, but then jerks on the way back. It's sort of like Reese all of a sudden um, touch some very, very hot surface, and it's as a reflex it comes back. So, um, <clears throat> as you may notice that there is a significant difference because uh, it's, a, it's a different um, set of relaxation and tension within the arm. And then we can practi practice a combination of first two exercises, or first two movements. Um, and um, this combination, we will, um, we will combine that within a rounded motion. So on the way down, we relax, but we, um, we um, sort of make a little scoop at the end. And we can do it with a wrist only. Or with a wrist on the forearm. Or with the whole arm. And um, if um, we can we can focus that so if if uh, uh, um, three fingers look a little bit obtrusive we can make um, a little we can we can bend fingers a little bit so and make it a little more focus and then focus right here um, at the thumb at the uh, uh, conjunction of the thumb and index after certain progress been made we can um, very um, directions uh, not always make it from right to left but we also combine from uh, right to left and then left to right depends on what beat are we, are we doing for example one two three four one two three four or one two three one two three but see even they applied in different direction because linear, uh, linear manifestation of the arm preserved, um, it does not destruct the pattern. And uh, still, the focus, the uh, point of communication is still staying here. 